Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. It's time for my neon comparison and de-stash. So I've got a few here, not as many as I thought actually, and what I've done is I've pulled out some of the neon pastels as well. Um, and I've also got a couple of highlighters here, a pink one and a yellow one to help us make those comparisons. Um, I've tried to wait for some decent light so that it doesn't mess up the the filters on the camera but I can't guarantee that so <laughs> we will give it a go. So first of all I'm going to separate the colours. Back in a minute. Okay so here are the pinks and the purples. These two here are more um, bright purples but I don't have a purple highlighter or a blue or a green highlighter. Not that I could find anyway. These are the pink ones um, and it's actually really beginning to hurt my eyes. <laughs> Let's do the purple ones first. So I've got a white base for, um, for the purposes of just having a look at the colour. Not all of them require a white base but I find it's always better to get that real neon pop over a white base anyway. So a very cheap, affordable white base that I use, and I've probably used it down to about here actually, is the Essence Gel White Wild White Ways. And it's even got that little sticker there, colour intensifying base. So that gives you a tip that it's a good polish to provide those white bases for neons. Okay, so the first one here is Purple Crush. I, this is, isn't going anywhere because it's actually in my project polish but let's have a look at the neon it's to me more of a magenta pinky purple um, but it's very very bright and it looks like it would actually be absolutely fine, just one coat over white. Uh, Purple Crush uh, from Orly Minis, and it's going back in my Project Mini set. Um, and this one here is, yeah, Mrs. Robinson. And this is Colour Club. But this is the polish that kicked out Zoya's Charisma from my collection, because it's very, very similar, and it has got a much better formula than Charisma. However, these two are very, very similar. Difficult to see through the camera, but Purple Crush is a little bit deeper, just a tiny, tiny bit deeper. So that's the Orly and that's Mrs. Robinson, the Colour Club. Very similar and I have to keep them both because this one's in my Project Polish. And I will be obviously keeping Mrs. Robinson because she kicked out Charisma, so she won that battle. Okay, so now to the pinks and I'll pick this one up first, which is the one that I got mixed up with Purple Crush and it's a, I wouldn't say it was strictly neon next to the neon highlighter it's a very 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 bright pink and it does have if we can see up close it does have a bit of a shimmer in there as well on oh, my nails by the way today is it's the essence out of space stories a thousand light years away and I just thought I'd put a black on just so that it wouldn't doesn't confuse the neon colour. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. It's holographic glitters. It's a bit of a top coat eater. So you pr I've only got one uh, coat of top coat here. But um, you might need two if you want that really smooth look. It's not textured, so I'm okay with it. But yes, it is a bit of a top coat eater. Okay, let's get back to Okabana Boy. So I would say this is more of a bubblegum Barbie pink, more of a bright than a neon, but it's on the cusp.
yeah definitely okay keep that there to one side for a second and then we've got these three very very bright pinks um two china glaze and one orly and i'll just put the highlighter there so you can see i would say the the nearest comparison is the china glaze loves a beach so that's probably the closest to the actual pink highlighter and then i would say that these two are even brighter than the highlighter <laughs> so uh, and they look very similar actually so let's have a look at loves a beach first it looks to me like there's a slight little bit of uh, orange to this yeah So this is a bright coral pink, but I think it just leans slightly more pink. Yeah, it just leans, there you go, slightly more pink than it does orange, believe it or not. Um, so we'll come back to that one. And then we have Oli Vavavoom. Yeah. This is a very bright pink. Well, it's neon. <laughs> so it's even brighter than bright. So that's Vava Voom. And I'm going to compare this to Rose Among Thorns. I know that this has got a good formula for a neon. Oh, but it's actually very very similar very similar and they've both got good formulas but I feel like I shouldn't really keep both of them I don't know what to do <laughs> I think I'm going to keep the Orly and say goodbye to Rose Among Thorns yeah I don't know why. I think pro probably because this one's a little bit shinier. So it maybe even dries shiny this one rather than matte, whereas the Rose Among Thorns is matte. But I just know that this is a good neon. Okay, I'm going to destash this one and keep the Orly. Look for the pinks That's and the purples, keeping this one for the Project Polish. Uh, I'm actually going to destash Okabana Boy. Um, Mrs. Robinson, I'm keeping. And I'm keeping the Orly and Loves a Beach. And I'm destashing Rose Among Thorns. Yeah, they're too similar, really, for me to justify keeping them. Okay, so let's look at some oranges. These look really pale and pastel, but they're actually burning my eyes at the moment. This is another Project Polish Mayhem Mentality. And this one here is Push the Limit. And they are very, very similar. Um, in the bottle, anyway, they're very similar. Let's see what they look like on the swatch wheel. But I can't... This one is in the Project Polish, so this one is going back in that little tub with the other 16 polishes it is so unbelievably bright this is a real highlighter orange colour yeah completely it just looks like a bright tangerine through the camera but look it's very very neon and the Orly is push the limit are you getting sore eyes yet anyone? <laughs> wait till we get to the yellows so there is actually a slight difference the Orly has a touch more 
pink to it I would say so they are slightly different tones so I will go I will keep will I keep this one that is the Orly Mini from the project puzzle that's Mayhem Mentality and this one here is Push the Limit uh, I'm going to keep them both have to keep the project polish so that's going there and I will keep I'm keeping the oily this here is probably the nearest to a bright orange highlighter color and it's pool party by China glaze up to now they've all had reasonable formulas actually for neons but let's have a look at this one Hmm, little bit of a streakier formula, I would say, on this one. Hmm, but, and it is actually really, really quite bright. But the formula's not great, so I'll just keep that one there for a second. This one here is Polish Me Royalty Caution, and this is more of a like a bright tangerine type of orange it's very bright and it's very very juicy um, and I actually loved wearing this one when I swatched it don't usually like these tangerine kind of shades but this is it's not got as much of the yellow as a usual tangerine so it's that Kind of shade they all look very similar actually looking at them um but yeah they are there they do have subtle differences this one i'm definitely keeping i absolutely love it in fact i'll insert a swatch of me wearing this from last year and finally we have orange punch from orly and this is more of a basketball bright orange really rather than a neon but it's tipping into the tipping over into the neon arena definitely <sighs> yeah that is more of a bright actually than it is neon and it's a great formula so i am going to keep this one so the only one really that I de-stashed from that one there was Pool Party just because it is quite similar to these other two but it, the formula is a little bit streaky. But that's Pool Party by China Glaze. So next up are the yellows. I've got three yellows here. So that's the yellow highlighter for comparison. And they're all very bright highlighter neon. Now some of them are going to look a little bit green in the camera. This isn't going anywhere. This is one of my favourite neons actually. And it's got these cute little stars inside. Um, and this is a great formula for a neon. And this is from the Harry Potter collection. And this is the polish that represents the house. Hufflepuff and it's called Loyalty and it's just a really unusual neon with those black matte glitters and there's also some silver glitters in there you probably can't see just because of the glare um, but yeah I'm not going to be de-stashing this one I absolutely love it you can see the little stars in there um, okay so now these two I've got Model Zone Louis Lemon and I've also got Celtic Sun China Glaze. I always want to say Celtic, but that's a football team. <laughs> okay, I'm trying not to smudge these other ones here. So this is the model's own. Um, 
that's a pretty good formula for a bright neon yellow see how it compares with Celtic Sun which isn't as good and actually Celtic Sun is definitely more green toned it's not green it looks green there but next to the highlighter you can see it is actually yellow <sighs> because they're so different I'm going to keep all three of these let's just move on <laughs> okay so finally we get to the green neons I just had to put some extra white bases down here um, and let's start with this one here and see actually how it does compare to it's very very close very close so this is Celtic Sun and this one here is Thrill Seeker I'm sure I had glow stick somewhere I'm just wondering where that is anyway let's have a look at Thrill Seeker that's bugging me now I know I had glow stick but I don't know where it is okay yeah Thrill Seeker is definitely very very close to Celtic Sun and Celtic Sun has got a rotten formula so actually I'm going to de-stash this one so back out of the uh, keep and sending it to the goodbye I was going to say bin nearly then but I'm going to be saying goodbye to this one so very very bright neon tennis ball yellow and I'm getting rid of that one because to me Thrill Seeker is very very similar and a much better formula and it's not really a colour that I use that often anyway so there we go um, Thrill Seeker staying and Celtic Sun going okay so let's have a look at the three remaining green greens um, and this one here is Illamasqua Nurture and these are like bright Frankenstein neon greens so as well as being great for the summer they're also really good for some Halloween nail art as well so how do Illamasqua's do with neons that's actually a very good formula looks great over the white love this yeah so keeping this one I also have I'm with the lifeguard which I've actually got two bottles of this um, and it's one of my favorite bright greens so Debbie sent me this one and I've also got another one as backup this is slightly brighter if possible than the Illamasqua Nurture and again it's got a great formula for a neon so that's Nurture which is starting to dry matte and that's I'm with the lifeguard and finally we have another Polish Me Royalty and this is called Alien Vacation and this isn't as neon it's actually more of a very 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 bright bright I don't know whether that's fluff or a little bit of pigment still that needs to be shaken up a little bit there so yeah it's much more of a bright green rather than a neon um, these two look very very similar I'm with the lifeguard I'm with the lifeguard is a little bit brighter 
and Alien Vacation isn't quite as neon as I thought. So I'm actually going to de-stash Alien Vacation and I'm going to keep I'm with the Life card and before we go I haven't got many neon pastels, probably not that many at all if I've got any they will emerge I'm sure through the pastel um, swatching and de-stash that I'll be doing but this is Vibrant Vibes and Grass is Lime Greener. They look very similar to me. Um, Vibrant Vibes, if possible, is just a little bit more slightly duller greyed out, although they're both, you can't really describe either of them, either of them as dull. Um, but yeah, you can't really describe either of them as dull. However, I would say that the brightness of the two lies with last grass is lime greener so because they're not neon they're more neon pastel i'm not going to bother with the white undie this time so this is grass is lime greener and this one here is vibrant vibes which i have worn and i really really love this formula here looks quite sheer so actually they're not that similar on the wheel and they both look like they've got rubbish formulas actually I'm going to do another coat of these and give them a both a second chance um, so we'll come back and have a look at this um, but just going back to the neons um, the ones that I'm keeping are here and the ones that I'm going to be de-stashing, not many. So there's five of them here. So I've got Okabana Boy, Alien Vacation, Celtic Sun, Pool Party and Rose Among Thorns. Uh, I'll be back in a minute with the Neon Pastel second coat. So here is a second coat of... Uh, the neon pastels this is the um china glaze grass is lime greener and this one here is vibrant vibes and they do look slightly different i'm trying to decide if enough to keep both of them uh Yes, I'm going to keep both of them, I think. You can see there the difference. Vibrant Vibes doesn't look quite as vibrant against Grass's Lime Greener. But I'm going to keep both of them anyway. For now, I might do something about this Vibrant Vibes at a later stage. Okay, so yes, there we go again. That's the five that's going. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. If you want any of these neons and you're in the UK, leave me a message hope this hasn't hurt your eyes too much and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one bye